bienvenido a Panama. So, thank you guys for joining us today. We had the oh, great experience of coming down here to Panama, the last country in Central America between Mexico and South America. So you may be wondering, why are you in Panama? Well, we've actually got something up our sleeve, but more to come on that later. So come with us as we spend the next 24 hours here in Panama City exploring the new skyline, Old Town, and the Panama Canal. We stayed at the Waldorf Astoria and wanted to make a quick stop at the room to see our accommodations and change before hitting the streets to explore. We also needed to find something to eat. A short walk from the hotel was Brutal Smokehouse where we enjoyed barbecue. Since it was a heavy meal, we took another walk around one of the city parks to work off our dinner before calling it a night. The next morning we enjoyed breakfast on the balcony where we could take in the skyline views. Our tour guide picked us up at 9 to go to Casco Viejo or Old Town. Filled with brick paved streets and original Spanish architecture, our first stop was to see Iglesia San Jose or St. Joseph's Church. This particular cathedral is known for its well-preserved original gold-plated altar and other exquisitely detailed statues. The church is free to tour, but donations are accepted. We continued walking through several plazas, past the historic convent and orphanage, and marveled at the original buildings mixed with the boutique hotels and businesses. Next, we entered the Metropolitan Cathedral, which had another stunning altar and large organ on the second story. Our guide took us to the edge of Old Town, which overlooked the skyline, and we could even see our hotel across the water. There was an open market that is underneath a living archway covered in bougainvillea flowers. With the climate in Panama, this area is in bloom all year long. You can find authentic handcrafted goods from some of the indigenous tribes and other locals. Past the market is another lookout point and the French Embassy. Beside the Embassy, you will find La Calle de Sombreros or the Street of Hats, paying homage to the Guayacano hat. The colorful hats blowing in the gentle sea breeze made me feel like we were in a movie. We hopped back into the car to drive along the Amador Causeway out to the marina on Flamenco Island. We saw the luxury yachts while eating passion fruit popsicles and of course snapped a pic at the famous Panama sign. Our last stop on the tour was the famous Panama Canal to see the Miraflores Locks. At the Visitor Center, you can enjoy a 45-minute IMAX movie detailing the history of the canal and the contributions from the Chinese, French, and Americans in its construction. Afterwards, you can walk out to the canal locks and see if any ships are passing through. While we were there, we got to see a small passenger ship and a shipping barge pass through all of the locks from the Miraflores Lake out towards the Panama Bay. After a long day exploring Panama, we worked up quite the appetite and set out to find dinner. We went back to a local city park where everyone was outside walking, playing basketball, enjoying the playground, or taking their dogs to the dog park. Not too far away, we found Yolian Rooftop Bar, which was located on the third floor of a shopping mall. Here, we had perfect views of the Panama Bay and could watch the sun setting behind the skyscrapers. So, just got finished eating uh, dinner at Yulian. Uh, so full. It was a <laughs> it was a, a rooftop barbecue restaurant, which was really good. Camille had the bacon, bacon cheese cheeseburger. Bacon. I had some beef ribs. It was excellent. So if you ever get here, definitely sit there and go there. We just take a nice leisurely stroll back to our. Hotel room. So much cooler when the sun goes down. Now everybody's starting to come out because it's Friday night. They're going to dinner and dancing. It's great. 
<laughs> it feels great actually. Earlier. Woo. Right. Trucking through trucking through the city. It was the definition Man. of hot and sticky. Yeah, yeah. The humidity was at all time high, so just to let you know if you come here and you sweat easily, bring a towel, a hat, something that's gonna sit there and you know help and you out a little bit. Drink plenty of water. Panama actually has very good hygiene standards so you can drink the tap water however if you feel better with bottled water go for it our day finally ended laying by the pool and enjoying the coastal nighttime breeze as always if you like our content don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe as it really helps out the channel also hit the notification button if you want to be first in line when we release new content we really appreciate every one of you that took the time out to watch our video. Until next time.